What is happening, Dreamcatchers fam? That's right. Welcome back to the Dreamcatchers Fishing Channel. I have got an absolute banger video today. Had a Karen absolutely lose her mind on me on Facebook. I'm going to say her name, but I'm going to mute it, but you might be able to lip read. But I get this message literally in the middle of the night last night, uh, totally unsuspected, came out of, I felt like, left field, but this is what it says. It has come to my attention that you have been selling <laughs> lake fishing coordinates and access to my private put-in off this specific road. I'm notifying you to stop monetizing my private property immediately. Furthermore, I'm also notifying you that you are permanently banned from our put-in effective immediately. If you are seen on my property again, you will be arrested for criminal trespassing. So what in the world is that all about? Then all of a sudden I start getting these screenshots. Boom, uh, boom. Uh, I'm like, what the heck is this all about? So anyways, I reply, I say, hey, I'm assuming somebody has told you this. I respect your message and will 100% honor this if this was true, but have you seen this or do you have proof of this? I'm a very respectful outdoorsman. I've told people that this lake is a great lake to fish. That's the only thing I've, I've done. I own a tackle shop. We are successful fishermen. There tends to be people that fabricate stories about me regularly. This is true ever since I've started Dreamcatchers. I got a bunch of haters, haters, haters. Uh, anyways, I said, I do apologize for misunderstanding or any miscommunication, but that, honey, is simply not true. So I asked her, I said, do you have proof of this? And she said, can you prove that you haven't? And it doesn't work like that. This is America where you are innocent until proven guilty. You can't accuse somebody of something and then they say, okay, well, can you provide proof? And, th and then say, well, you have to prove you haven't. It doesn't work like that. If you accuse somebody, this is for everyone in the world. If you ever accuse somebody of something, you have to bring forth information. Obviously, she didn't have information. So anyways, I said, what kind of proof would you like? I really enjoy fishing this lake with my friends. My wife, my child would never jeopardize the opportunity to fish this lake. It's one of my favorite places to fish and unwind. I do guide on other lakes, public lakes, and I offer advice to anglers in my store in no way, shape, or form have done what you are accusing me of. I would like to talk to you and about this in person. I always try to go above and beyond and be respectful, believe me. So then I see the post on Facebook and she starts going in and people are like, okay, hey, we know Austin Neary from Dreamcatchers. He's a great guy. Thank you everybody that had my back. Uh, and you know, a lot of people don't, don't know me or they know me from an arm's length, so they don't know my heart, but Dreamcatchers exist to help people reel in their dream catch. I've always, that has been our motto since the day one. You can go back a decade ago and watch our videos. We're not one of these people with scarcity mentalities that we think the world's out to get us or people are reeling in our fishing spots. No, God created these fish for us to enjoy God's creation. And that is my passion and that is my heart. I enjoy sharing God's creation. I enjoy helping people. Uh, this is also how I make my living. So I do monetize my intellectual property um, and all these things. But she was referring to, I think someone had sent her this right here. Boom. That's right. That is a link to a fish tip where I'm holding fish that were actually caught on Lake but the tip in nowhere in the tip does it have waypoints from this specific lake or does it even mention it on this specific lake. It says patterning big bass, big potential for BB. And what I was talking about is targeting big structure that is high in the water column and dark because what happens is this time of the year, right? The water's cold, but the sunlight warms warm things. I mean, if you've ever put your hand on something black outside, even when it's cold outside, but it's sunny, that something that's black will be warm. And what the big bass do is they get right up next to it. They snuggle with it. They cuddle with it because they're cold blooded creatures. They have to regulate their body temperatures and cold blooded creatures like warmer conditions. That's why snakes lay on the asphalt. That's why bass get on these dark, uh, whether it's a dock float or rock. So the whole pattern was around catching your personal best fish where whatever lake you're on, big potential to catch your PB using that pattern, targeting big bass with big swim baits on this specific structure. In no way, shape, or form were there any waypoints, 
So in the comment section of her, her, her post on this page, she said I was selling coordinates to her house, which is absolutely absurd. Let me tell you something, okay? One, all lakes in North Carolina that are not fenced all the way around it and posted are public waterways to anybody who wants to fish. So the lake is public. This specific lady, I guess owns or father owns or husband, I don't know who it is, but she owns this private put in to this lake. So the lake is public access. And what I do, what you do, what anyone wants to do on this lake is totally public. You can do whatever you want on the lake. And I have done nothing. She charges, she charges for the put in to use it. I have respectfully paid exactly what I'm supposed to pay, just like everybody pays every time. But this is what I know. Karen's think they own the water and she thinks this specific person thinks that because she has the only put in on the lake that is open to people willing to pay that she owns the water and she does not and but I, I see this it doesn't matter whether this is Mike Iconelli I see I don't whether this is whoever's video across the way you get these Karens that think they own the water I've had it happen out dock fishing uh, on Lake Glenville when I'm guiding customers someone skips a wacky rig and it gets caught on a rope laying off a dock and I have to go up on the dock and start playing with it and someone starts yelling hey get off of my dock and, ah! and it's like hey we're on our water your rope is actually polluting it's actually in the water obstructing my public access so you don't own the water you might own your house you actually don't even own your dock there's actually Duke Power on most of the lakes has permits that they actually retain the dock um, simply you just have a dock that's allowed to be there from Duke Power but once again you just get these people that constantly think that they own the waterways this specific woman is you know just absolutely clueless and off of a rocker you know and many of people have, have uh, Many people know me and know my business, know my heart, know my desire to, you know, do well and help people catch fish. I enjoy going to this lake. I enjoy fishing big swim baits at this specific lake. I enjoy hearing stories of people catch big fish in this lake. Love the lake. But uh, this was absolutely crazy. The crazy thing is, was she went on a public forum, Facebook, and def like defame me this is defamation when you publicly accuse somebody of something that's not only false but that you have no proof of that is called defamation and that is illegal you guys might remember the Johnny Depp uh, the whole Johnny Depp trial with I think her name was Amber her she said he abuses me he abuses me and he's like I, he lost everything he goes well naturally I'm going to sue you uh, because I've lost everything and uh, you know, he ended up winning and the proof was she was actually the abuser. This is one of those cases. This lady has absolutely no proof. I just literally shared with you, there's nothing about this lake, no coordinates, no anything. But uh, anyways, this is called defamation. It's illegal. I'm not gonna pursue legal charges um, because I'm not that kind of guy. I did message, you know, I did message her and just say, hey, you know, I think I said that, right? I said, hey, like I previously said, I 100% respect your message and will honor your request, but this is a false accusation and the public statements on Facebook are defamatory to me, my employees, and my business. I'm okay with your message to me personally, which is what I've been reading here from I'm okay with you telling people in private and messaging them, but it's illegal called defamation in quotation marks because she probably doesn't know this. Uh, to publicly accuse somebody of something that is not only false, but that you do not have proof of, no response, uh, chances are, and here's the good thing, chances are she probably didn't even know that, whether she'd know it or not, I don't really care, but this is just clueless people doing clueless things, you know, once again, from, from how she handled this to uh, going on a public forum, and, and Guy said it in her comments, like, hey, if he pay, if I paid the public access, whatever I do on the lake is my lake. There's no, there's nothing out there that says no guides allowed, no anything allowed. Here's the crazy thing: I've never guided on the lake. That is a lake that is my kind of honey hole. I just like getting out there fishing how I like to fish, throwing big swim baits and doing my thing with it. But all of a sudden, now honestly, she did more damage to the lake or anything than anybody because now you know. I guess I didn't have to make this video, but definitely wanted to talk about. Uh, and how she handled that situation. So, 
Anyways, if anything, I'm gonna bring her more revenue because more people are gonna launch their bow and pay her ramp fee, so you're welcome. But anyways, just absolutely crazy. I just, I'm so sick of people doing that. And here's the deal, when you have a disrupting business, dream catchers, listen, when I started this business, I must have had 20 people a month say, man, I heard so-and-so and I heard you're a, a, a arrogant SOB and I heard, and I'm like, these are, all, these are all hearsay. Let me tell you something. Never be the kind of person that judges a man based off the opinion of another man. You want to know something, go to the source. That's what men do. But in this case, a woman named... It is what it is. I'm, I'm still going to fish this lake. Trust me. I'm going to fish this lake. You guys will see how I access it. But um, I'm looking forward to it. This is just absolutely crazy. Karens will be Karens. In this case will be <laughs> that's it that's all i got thanks for watching this video book a trip we're on some big bass